Pneumonia is an inflammation of the lungs that makes breathing difficult and ultimately causes fever, cough, and yellow or green mucus. It is mainly caused by bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Pneumonia-infected people usually feel better after two to four weeks, but children and those with lung issues are at high risk of complications and need proper care at the hospital. During the late 1800s and early 1900s, pneumonia was the leading cause of death throughout the world. Scientists searched and, in 1881, were able to determine the leading cause of this disease, which was Streptococcus pneumonia bacteria. Further studies determined that the physical structure of this bacteria interacts with the immune system of humans. A question arises, how does a bacterial structure interact with the body's immunity? It has been found that Streptococcus pneumonia's cell wall has a polysaccharide layer on the outside. Germs become more harmful due to this layer, reducing the immune system's effectiveness against them. Although pneumonia can affect anyone, those over the age of 65 and children under 12 are at a higher risk. A report from 2022 from the World Health Organization said that pneumonia has killed 15% of kids younger than 5 years old. Another report says that 55,000 people die every year in the US from pneumonia. If someone has chest pain, fever, or trouble breathing, they should see a doctor and get checked for pneumonia. It could kill you if you don't treat it right away. You can get better for viral pneumonia, but for bacterial pneumonia, you need to take medicine. This video will discuss what causes this disease, its symptoms, how to treat it, and how to stay safe while watching it. Let's start now. What is pneumonia? As a respiratory disease, pneumonia hurts our lungs by breaking down lung cells. The lungs are made up of very small sacs called alveoli. In healthy people, these alveoli are full of air when they breathe. But in people with pneumonia, these sacs fill up with pus or mucus and swell, making it harder for them to take in oxygen. As a result, people with pneumonia have trouble breathing. Why do people get pneumonia? Infectious agents, also called pathogens, like bacteria, viruses, fungi, and even protozoans, are what cause pneumonia. The lungs are usually protected from these germs by our immune systems, so pneumonia goes away on its own in two to four weeks. But in some cases, these agents, especially bacteria, can empower the immune system and lead to severe pneumonia. Based on these pathogens and where they come from, pneumonia is classified into various types, such as community-acquired pneumonia, hospital-acquired pneumonia, healthcare-acquired pneumonia, and aspiration pneumonia. Community-acquired pneumonia, it is also known as CRP. It occurs outside of the hospital and may be due to bacteria, viruses, fungi, or protozoa. Streptococcus pneumonia is the most common cause of pneumonia in the USA. It usually affects one lobe of the lungs, and that condition is known as lobar pneumonia. Some bacterial-like pathogens, such as mycoplasma, cause pneumonia but show mild symptoms. Fungi affect people who have weak immune systems or already experience chronic conditions. The virus that causes flu, such as influenza or cold, or COVID-19, can also cause pneumonia, especially in children. Rarely protozoa, such as toxoplasma, can also cause pneumonia. Hospital-acquired pneumonia, also known as HCP, some people adopt pneumonia from a hospital while staying there for any other disease. CP could be more serious as the bacteria of hospitals may be antibiotic resistant. Aspiration pneumonia. This condition occurs when foreign substances, including foods, liquids, vomit, or saliva, are inhaled into the lungs and cause infection and inflammation. Risk factors. Pneumonia affects people of any age but children under two years old and people older than 65 are at higher risk of this disease. Those children who are already infected by some diseases, such as measles or symptomatic HIV, can easily catch pneumonia. Those who have weak immune systems due to malnutrition or undernourishment could also experience this disease quickly. 
Pneumonia in children can also be attributed to environmental factors such as crowded housing, air pollution from biomass fuel, and parental smoking. How is pneumonia transmitted? Pneumonia is not a contagious disease, but the virus which causes it is contagious. For instance, the flu can spread and cause pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumoniae is the bacteria most often responsible for pneumonia. This bacteria can be passed from person to person by coughing or sneezing. A blood transfusion is another way for the spread of pneumonia. Symptoms. Different types of symptoms may look different. High fever, shortness of breath, rapid breathing, an irregular heartbeat, sweating, loss of appetite, bluish skin and yellow or green mucus are all signs of bacterial pneumonia. People who have viral pneumonia might have the same symptoms, plus some extra ones, like a dry cough, muscle pain, and headaches. Lack of energy, vomiting, cough, fever, chills, sweating, pale skin, and loss of appetite are some of the signs that the child may have pneumonia. Complications. Even after taking medicine, pneumonia can still lead to serious problems in some people, such as when bacteria from the lungs get into the blood, they can affect other organs and even cause them to fail. This is called bacteremia. Sometimes, fluid builds up between the spaces between the tissues that line the lungs. This is called pleural effusion. A lung abscess happens when pus builds up in a hole in the lungs. Antibiotics can cure it. Diagnosis. You should see a doctor if you have any of the above symptoms. He will ask you some simple questions about the symptoms of this disease or any other disease you are having as part of your medical history. The doctor will then do a physical exam on you, such as using a stethoscope to listen to your lungs. If he felt any swelling in your lungs, he will suggest some tests like a chest x-ray, blood test, sputum test, also called a spit test, and a pulse oximetry test to check the amount of oxygen in your blood. If your doctor finds pneumonia, he will give you medicine to help. Treatment. Pneumonia is treated by antibiotics and antifungals, which cannot treat the virus. Some people need oxygen therapy for this purpose, and the doctor recommends extra oxygen by a tube or a mask on the face. Intravenous fluids are given to some patients to prevent dehydration. Preventions. Vaccines are an effective preventive measure for any viral disease. Talk to your doctor and get a pneumonia vaccination. Be careful to give its dose to your children at the age of two years. Flu shots are provided to children before six months. Avoid smoking. A cigarette or cigar smoking damages the lungs and may lead to the occurrence of severe respiratory diseases. Therefore, if you are a smoker, just quit it. Good hygiene. People who regularly wash their hands with alcohol-based hand sanitizers and wear masks when they are in a crowded place can avoid getting pneumonia. Boosting your immunity, your immune system will be stronger if you get enough sleep, stay active and eat a healthy, balanced diet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring.